Well, with temperatures and snow dropping fast, the roads grow more treacherous. And roads in the Denver metro area are turning slick. I-70 from Silverthorne all the way down to the metro area shut down tonight. And Jamie Leary joins us live. Jamie, you spoke with some people stranded by that closure on I-70. Kathy, they're actually taking up all of the parking spots at the gas station there, which is where we were going to go, but it's filled. People hoping to get uh, towards Denver, but it is closed right now. And these closures are going to be lasting for quite some time. It's not snowing here, but the snow has created some hazardous driving conditions. And I'm told right now things are a mess on the other side of the tunnel. And up until that point, it is glare ice. Are you headed straight back to Chicago tonight? That was the plan. Now we are uncertain. Clark the Bernese is thrilled with the snow, but I-70 closed on his owners who are trying to make it back to Chicago. What are you going to do now? That's a great question. We're hoping to get a nice dinner and then maybe try to drive again after. Waves of intense snow in the high country Saturday created icy driving conditions. Those who didn't have to drive hoping for more accumulation. Came up for the powder day. I heard it was a Goliath storm. Robert Schleider left Fort Worth, Texas at 4 a.m. on Friday. Couldn't wait, powder hound. With minimal snow Saturday, he spent the day fishing. It's a little disappointing, but I have high hopes and I think I'm gonna do my snow dance and, and get this thing going. Do you have an example of that snow dance? A snow dance never hurts, but at this point, it's likely powder hounds will get their day. But if you have to drive, take it slow, enjoy the snow. <laughs> it is a great attitude to have, and certainly fishing is never a terrible thing to do if you can't ski. But we talked to a sheriff's deputy. She anticipates this closure could last until tomorrow, but things are only supposed to get worse. So those who are stuck here now might want to buckle down for a long weekend. Live in Summit County, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom. Thank you, Jamie.